What makes a team great isn't just what they do on the field, but it's what they do off the field as well. And as we know, one of the best parts about being a Vol is how we help, support, and even inspire each other. And in a lot of cases, it's the fans who inspire the athletes. And that is exactly what happens when the team traveled up to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Check this out. So first off, I wanna say congratulations to beating what was the number two team in the country, Georgia. That must feel pretty good. Oh, thank you. It feels amazing. It's just like, it feels great to see where we came from last year and just to get a big win like that over a great SEC team. The coach Vitello said that youth probably improved the most out of anybody on the pitching staff from last season to this season. What do you think has been the reason for such a drastic improvement? Uh, well, it was really Coach Anderson probably did the most work with me this offseason, just getting in the bullpen, doing a bunch of stuff. You have one of the most unique appearances on the team. The long hair, the mustache. Is there a reason for this? Or like, what goes into making that look happen? Yeah, so the hair's been a long process. I've been growing that out for about a year now. But the mustache was kind of a joke, and then I threw well with it, and at that point it's kind of a superstition. I couldn't cut it, had to keep it rolling. Being one more year in this league, you know, it just helps all around. And everyone's super excited about the team's success this year. I'm sure you are as well, especially being from Tennessee. How much has it meant to you to get this program back on track? Oh, it's pretty awesome. You know, as soon as we start having success, we start having more people come out to the stands and stuff. And it's pretty cool just to be able to help the program as, as much as we are. What does the team need to do to pull off that victory? We just got to go in there confident like we usually do. Tennessee is averaging 16 turnovers and they had 23 in their first meeting with Auburn. If they want to keep this game close, they got to do a better job at handling the ball, especially since Auburn is averaging 13 steals a game. That's fifth in the nation. And that's not all. They have four players that are top six in the SEC for steals per game, led by Shania McKay. Let's go to Antonio. Rebounding is one of Tennessee's greatest strengths. They've out-rebounded 19 of 23 opponents over the course of the season and are tied at number one in SEC with Mississippi State for most rebounds per game. And Sheridan Green is a huge contributor to this. She leads the team in offensive rebounds, is currently ranked fifth in the SEC. Head coach Holly Warlick says she is playing with a lot of confidence this season and coming into her own as a player. What do you think about the shot selection in the first half? It's been all right. We missed a lot of shots underneath the basket. We got to take our time. And, and what's the key in the second half? We got to rebound because they had nine offensive rebounds. We got to get in and we got to box out and rebound. Hey, Zay, great performance tonight. What was working well for you? Uh, just running the court and like my layups, really just the fast breaks. And then the team, we were just pushing the ball the whole time. Goals kept coming for Tennessee. Riley O'Keefe scored off an assist by Anna Bialzak, putting Tennessee up 3-0. Then Aaron Gilroy wanted in on the action too. She was able to beat the keeper and put it in the back of the net. It was her first goal of the season. Last week, the University of Tennessee hosted an event for the student athletes where they were able to get together with real world professionals and to not only network, but learn about the proper dining etiquette went out of business meal. So excited to tell you about an event that took place last night. You know, being a student athlete here at UT is so much more than just your sport, but pursuing your career field is just as important. And yesterday, the players were able to get together with potential job employers to prepare for life after football. Tu vida y la de Mauricio son muy parecidas. ¿Puedes decirme unas cosas de común? Pues los dos empezamos desde muy chicos a hacer clavados. Mauricio también, él es de Monterrey. Y lo conociste antes de venir a UT. ¿Cómo se conocieron? Eh, él ya entrenaba clavados cuando yo apenas inicié. Y Mauricio se graduó primero que tú. ¿Qué te dijo sobre su experiencia aquí? Mauricio fue una influencia desde muy chica, que yo estaba muy chica. Fue una muy buena influencia para mi vida. Who are you wearing? See, what happened was. I forgot my glasses. Who has the best costume tonight besides you? What did you do during the off season to really help your game this year? Um, one thing I really did was I re redeveloped my breaking ball. Well, 90 feet, thank you so much for joining me and good luck this weekend. Thanks, bro.